All right, mahi mahi with a tamarind chutney. The first thing I'm going to do is make the tamarind cilantro chutney. And as you can see here in the upper left, it's I have palm sugar. Lower left, it's chopped shallots. Lower right, tamarind paste. And in the upper right is ground up star anise and coriander. So the first thing I want to do is to have some oil in the pan um, on medium heat, uh, medium to high heat, just to get the shallots going and uh, once you get them translucent uh, th then you can add the tamarind paste in there as you can see and I have all of the measurements and ingredients on the blog so feel free to check over there so what I'm doing here is caramelizing the shallots and also getting the uh, the flavor out of the tamarind paste and once it becomes uh, nice and translucent I then add the palm sugar and add the uh, spice mixture. And now what I did with the star anise and the coriander was I toasted it in the pan first. Then I put it in the mortar and pestle and ground it up really fine into a powder, pretty much. And so I added that in there. And then I uh, put in some more uh, palm sugar because I felt it didn't taste um, quite as sweet as I wanted it to be. And here I'm adding some uh, rice vinegar, about a tablespoon's worth, because uh, just to give it some body and cut through the, the sweetness a little bit. And you can see it's starting to come through a little bit more, but I didn't feel it was thick enough yet. So I added two tablespoons of water and just to get the mixture thickened. And I stirred it in there just to get it. And you can see here it's becoming a nice uh, brown caramel color. All right, and keep stirring until the sauce is complete and I felt it was thick enough and you can go ahead and get it out of the pan and the next thing you do once the the uh, mixture is cooled you can chop up some cilantro as I did here put it into the uh, tamarind chutney while it's still while it's cool because you don't want it to be all hot and stuff and what it's going to do is that it's going to start cooking the cilantro and you don't want that you want the fresh flavor of the uh, cilantro to to just mix in there and get chopped up in there and not actually uh, cook because it's, it's going to turn brown as well so I pulse that and the uh, tamarind cilantro chutney is ready Okay, now it's time to cook the rice and what I did was I added one cup of coconut milk into there and I also put uh, enough water just to have it go up to the first digit of my finger here and you don't have to use that finger that particular finger that I'm using you know, feel free to use um, other digits And now it's time to season the fish and get that ready for the hot, hot pan. Look at that nice, beautiful mahi. So I just put salt and pepper, patted it down. Uh, had, a, had some flour, just basic flour here. No salt or pepper added to it. And I put the side that I'm going to sear into the flour just to get it nice and brown and give it a nice coating. And watch the rice. And put some uh, oil in there. Use some grapeseed oil because it has a high smoking temperature. And I'm waiting for the pan to get um, pretty hot. You want it to be sizzling hot by the time that fish goes in there so that way it doesn't stick and it helps it brown um, uh, really nicely as well. Okay, so now the, the pan is hot enough and I put the fish in uh, flour side down so I can get it all seared nicely. And after about five to seven minutes, um, you want to check on the fish to see if it's browned enough. And then I've flipped it over and put it into a 350 degree oven for about uh, seven to eight minutes. So you want to check on that. Just, just to get it nice and cooked through. And the rice is cooked here. And I'm just um, fluffing the rice. And I uh, zested some lime and added some salt as well. And as you can see here, I didn't put enough 
I didn't feel there was enough lime in there, so I put that in there. And the the lime adds a nice uh, freshness, and it also adds a nice uh, zest to the coconut, and complements the coconut uh, very, very well. The next step here is the uh, garnish for the fish itself, and it's uh, shallots that I'm going to fry up, um, bread in a little bit. And you can skip this step if you don't if you don't want to go to that extra step of garnishing because this is basically it adds a nice um, like oniony type flavor to to the mix, but it doesn't it's it's not a big deal if you don't use it. So here the uh, fish is cooked after about eight minutes, and now in that same pan that I used to cook the uh, fish. I added some oil to it just so it can also pick up some some of the little uh, bits and flavors of of the fish that was in there. I fried the shallots, and it turns brown fairly quickly. So you, uh, it's a good idea to keep an eye, a close eye on them because they're so small, and and uh, once the moisture gets out of them, that's when it starts turning brown really fast. So just keep an eye out on it, and once it's ready, let's get it out of the pan. Right, now it's time for plating. First, uh, grab a scoop of coconut rice. I mean, you can plate it any way you want. Uh, this is just the way that I do it. Pop the fillet on top, and some tamarind cilantro chutney. Then garnish it with. The fried shallots and a sprig of cilantro. And that's it.